Namaste, my name is Sakuntala Thanju. I am working here as a principal. Uh, this school was started eight years ago. Uh, we have a program of proficiency certificate level in nursing. Uh, this school is a joint project between the government and the uh, UMN. It's a United Mission to Nepal. Mm, we have uh, we enroll each year 40 students, and the requirement for enrollment is um, school leaving certificate. It's grade 10, 10 grade. Uh, after that, uh, we have three years program, and we are using the curriculum. We are using is uh, it's um, it was designed by the Thiruvani University, one of the oldest education uh, institution. Um, so far, we graduated fifth batch of nursing students. I mean, graduate our students, and they are working all over like uh, mostly in Kathmandu and some in the west part of Nepal and few in in the east part of Nepal also. That's great. Um, describe the curriculum. What I One of the things that I've noticed is that it's a uh, three-year program and so most American nursing educators would think it's sort of like a diploma program but then what I was amazed by is the emphasis on community health that you have. Can you talk about the community health and all that stuff? Yeah, that is right. Uh, I think it's, uh, we also call it diploma program. Yeah. And then our, like our country's health situation is based on primary health care model. Uh, it's not primary health care nursing, but it, the, the total modality of the health care system is based on primary health care. So our our curriculum is based on this uh, this modality. So we start community health from the beginning, uh, like from the first year. And then first year our students focus is on normal individual, I mean healthy individual. So we, we go, we focus, and then we do not teach disease. We just teach them about the the, the environment, the healthy environment, um, and then uh, the healthy individual. Or maybe we we teach them to differentiate unhealthy and healthy. And what is health? What is illness? Uh, how we define our health and how we define our illnesses. So these are the concept. And then in second year, our focus is on more on the maternal and child health. And third year, and pediatric also in second year. And in the third year, we teach them illness. Uh, we teach them disease. We teach them uh, more on the curative uh, spectrum, uh, perspective. But in the first year, it's more on prevention, elevation of health, how to empower the community, how to uh, how to become healthy and how to raise our uh, healthy standard in the community this, uh, these are the that is that is the pattern of the primary health care it's put into our curriculum yeah what I was amazed by was the project where they went to all the towns in the village and did a mm -hmm. survey of health practices mm -hmm. and illness practices mm -hmm. and all that kind of thing. I thought that was really wonderful. Oh, yeah. Yes, uh, I, I also think it's a, it's a good way to put, uh, arrange uh, the learning, teaching and learning methods in the process, in the curriculum. I also agree with that. I think the curriculum design in the system is very good. It, it, it is uh, directly focusing in our healthcare system. Yeah. So I like that. Now you're also completing your doctoral studies, and I believe it's in Tokyo. Uh, or is where did it is? Tell me more about your doctoral studies, okay. please. Uh, I am now taking uh, taking my doctorate uh, study uh, in 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 Japan. It's nearby Tokyo. 
it's three years program but um, my it's it's kind of distance study i communicate with my advisor my professor through mail emails and then um, but once in a year i go to defend to defend my thesis and then get more advice and take some classes also my uh, my research title is uh, the nurses' roles in primary health care. Yeah, that hospital. seems very appropriate um, to... I, I, yeah, I think so. Me also, I'm happy to get this topic because there are... And then at the same time, I am... Um, I'm trying to find out what is uh, taught in the theory and how do we practice in the hospital. Yep. So this is kind of integration of the knowledge and the practice also. But uh, particularly because there are nurses' roles is defined by the primary health care, uh, so many nurses' roles. And then I am going through these roles, how the nurses are carrying these roles to fulfill the primary health care goal in, in people's life. I mean, to elevate health and then to work in the health field. In the U.S., one of the big themes in nursing education now is partnership between nursing education and nursing administration with medical centers mm -hmm. uh, and that sort of thing. And at the University of Hawaii, we work very closely with the largest hospital in Honolulu. Mm -hmm. You have a very close relationship with Tanson Mission Hospital as yes, well. Can you speak yeah. about that? Uh, yes. In fact, uh, I would say that our strength is the Mission Hospital. Uh, so far, our graduates have been uh, appreciated and our work has been appreciated in all over the country. I think it's because of the hospital and the, our hospital is uh, very supportive and they are very open to us. Uh, we are able to get these facilities because because of the UMN and CTVT's agreement. Um, because the UMN decided to open the clinical field for our students, that is why we are really uh, getting to use this clinical field. Not only this, uh, we are getting to use um, our town clinic also. And then this hospital, though it is, uh, it's like a community setting, we get all sorts of uh, experiences and there are very good uh, clinical nurses to, to stand for our students, stand by our students and then we have a very good uh, clinical doctors also and there are missionary doctors who are ready to teach, who are able to teach and then right. we have uh, uh, missionary teachers as well as Nepali teachers also who are who has a very good coordination um, to work with the students and the patient. Yeah. So I am really very much satisfied with this kind of arrangement. Now you also sort of are carrying the banner of the school with the government and all that sort of thing and over the <laughs> summer I've heard various Oh, times when you've met during this time of uh, reorganization of the Nepali government to try mm -hmm. to be able to advance nursing education. Mm -hmm. Can you talk a little bit about the political environment in which you exist? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how else to put that. Uh, yeah, this is, uh, it, I think this is, this is kind of uh, hard to say uh, sometimes we feel that we are out of this political situation but it is not true we are always in the midst of that that, that kind of environment and then uh, people are talking about the new nepal uh, forming of the new government in nepal but uh, it's really it's really we do not expect uh, with this kind of situation it's hard to see the change going on and it, it has really affected for example um, our intake situation and then because we are working with the government the government is changing so frequently it is uh, 
they cannot make any kind of decision and that is really hampering our work also in this school but um, at the same time we are working closely with the with the mission hospital and then the community that is how why we are working slowly moving ahead if it is only government then it is really hard to how sometimes i feel it's hard to work with them but um, and then uh, our future plan to get started with our bachelor's nursing it's also stuck there uh, in the government because they they say you know wait until we appoint this uh, faculty this faculty committee, because there is no faculty committee in the government. So we have to wait. I mean, it's really, sometimes it's it, it's not easy. Yeah. Not only sometimes, it's not really yeah. easy to work with. But um, I think it's not only our school. Other schools are also affected. You mentioned the bachelor's degree in nursing is, uh, I suppose this is where the vision question comes in. What is your vision for where the school will be in five years from now? Let's assume that the government is somehow stabilized and supportive mm -hmm. and that is yeah. behind you. If it was yeah. if it was your vision of where to go, where would it be? Yeah, uh, I think, well, uh, let me tell you about the vision now, what we are trying to accomplish oh, with this training. Okay. Uh, the vision the school has, uh, the school started was to to help the western half of Nepal community, um, taking the graduates, like empowering the the western half of the Nepal people, because when we compare the health, the development, or anything. East and West and the Central Region, the Western part of the community, the the Nepal is uh, least developed part, and then the region this school was established was to take the graduates from this this uh, part of Nepal, uh, and then to provide uh, to the graduates should be should be working in the Western half of Nepal. But the problem is uh, we do not have many hospitals and the, where there are few openings, all the graduates and all the people, it is already occupied. So there is not many, um, not many places that our graduates can fit. Um, so our graduates are now working in the, hosp in the mid, I mean in Kathmandu or some, in the east part of Nepal, and some are already in the in the abroad, like America, and many of them are in the in England also. But however, uh, later we thought, if they go outside and if they bring money to their family or to their community, that is also one of the help that the school can see the investment, how we have invested our our energy in the west half of Nepal. The reason that we want to run this uh, bachelor nursing is to become our school sustainable. Because the government, the like you said, we are only carrying the banner. The, the help doesn't come from a government uh, a must that it should be provided like every year the money is getting less and less and the fund is getting less and less that we are receiving from the government so um, and our school is non-profit making so we do not ask our student to pay more we cannot um, and uh, any any expenses that the school is um, spending comes from the little money that the government uh, gives us as a grant and then the students fee tuition fee and these kind of things and sometimes we, we get uh, a little small gift or, or gift 
in kinds like books, uh, like you also brought many, many right. books for us. And that is also we value in, in money, in terms of money, and then we put in our, in our account. So these are the, that is our income. So we want to become sustainable. Uh, the meaning to say that it is it doesn't mean that uh, we will be raising big money for these bachelors, but however, it's going to be our support program. And it's not only financial sustainability, it is the challenge for the teachers to work in this west part of Nepal because many, many teachers, the being the bachelor's teacher, it's really uh, difficult for us to retain them. Yeah. So with the with our great program, we hope that our our teachers uh, will get more job satisfaction and more challenge. And then not only that, with our great program, we can um, train our teacher. Um, you know, we can develop our faculty also training and development kind of thing. So if, if I were to go back to the University of Hawaii and tell them how great I thought this place was, mm -hmm. and they said, oh, gee, maybe we should, you know, talk with them some more about sending other faculty members, mm -hmm. what would you say? Uh, this, we, um, well, we have volunteers, teachers. Uh, there are four expat seat. Uh, I mean, this is visa post in our in our school. Uh, we encourage um, expat to come and request expats to come <coughs> in two, three reasons. One is, of course, one is um, one is to support support and share their expertise with us because this is also a kind of training and development for us. Uh, like you have you have done great job. For example, you, how many nurses you you trained? You gave lectures. All right, well, so, thank and, you. But yeah. I don't want it, I don't want this to be about me. I want you okay. to talk about. Okay, I mean yeah. it, it's only an example, uh, and then like Sister Pat and Esther, what what uh, we want to, uh, you know, they are supporting not only in the in the expertise, but they are supporting us in terms of money. Also, for example, we put them in a salary list. But we do not pay them. We put this in a scholarship fund, so yeah. our uh, our students can get uh, scholarship, um, stipend, or scholarship or the tuition fee. Uh, this our students are getting more than fifty percent of our students on scholarships. Yeah. So fifty percent students we get. Um, we get fee, but other are subsidized. Um, yeah, some are full um, scholarship, some are on half scholarship, some get tuition fee, some get um, boarding. This, uh, this, yeah. So these faculties will be great help uh, in this matter. But I, you know, usually so far the arrangement has been they are either sent by the church or sent by some kind of institution so they can yeah. get some money from our, from your country or whatever. Yeah. I know, it was unusual the way I came, just through the university. <laughs> um, one question that I had for you, and I'm struck by uh, the role of the school in kind of uh, helping young women adopt a kind of a professional role. And I think that the role of women in Nepal is certainly uh, an area of concern overall mm -hmm. and uh, has been uh, something that uh, many people want to be able to improve. I think you're actually doing it. Uh, tell, talk, can you talk a little bit about the role of women in this country and the role of the school in, uh, in, in that? I think, uh, you know, everybody know that our our country it's a male dominating society, and women are really, women are looked down, and do not get that re much respect. That it's it's because of our 
our it because of our culture maybe the men do not intend they do not have intention to do it but because of the culture is so strong that that the women are always looked down and they they are not uh, they are dependent on male um, on our family members male members however this nursing profession and this is school i think has really helped the women to come up uh, so we are independent we can and then it it's prove ourselves also that we are we also can think we can learn i mean we can do and we are not uh, not you know how i can say uh, we are not behind male we are we can be equal uh, we can be equal my for example my example also i come from uh, a tamang background uh, it's janajati what you call it scheduled cast scheduled cast uh, yeah. so my my mother's not educated my father was a, a little bit educated but my father decided that i should go to school so i went to school but he thought i will go to school and maybe i stop at grade 5 but i said you know i would like to go a little bit further and then uh, that time i think uh, it was a struggle so i really proved myself that um, i can beat other in my class so that is the way i was um, i finished my sc and then my father said now is stop you should get married you should not uh, study and then he said uh, maybe i would like to go to college and then what college and i saw an advertisement about nursing and i said maybe i want to become a nurse so i can help people and i can be self supported and then my father that time nursing education was a uh, look down profession it was dirty profession so people thought nursing is not good for the girl but i somehow i managed to uh, get into nursing and then i finished my nursing education and then then people realized and my father was uh, kind of proud of me that i was a nurse i become a nurse so and then when i compare with my life i can see if i was not a nurse i did not go to nursing school i my my place still would be uh, in one of the backward community and uh, yeah like it's I mean, a different path that you could have a, traveled yeah yes yeah and you so, would now have the benefit of comparing them. yes yeah and then i can now i can call my said as a teacher um, as a manager as a teacher it's because the nursing has opened a door for me so i am here and then uh, my family my my husband is also very supportive uh, for this so i can see in in this young girl's life i can see myself and i feel that it's because because of this is good many many girls now they have come forward and then uh, they find themselves um, themselves depending on them on them uh, right. rather than um, uh, rather than on others yeah i think that's wonderful yeah, i'm sorry no problem you know what you um to cut down huh? please, no actually i think it, this has been very good um I don't know what else to ask. Do you have any final words to say about uh, about the interview or Okay. Uh the only thing I want to say is maybe I really like to thank you. And then uh I would encourage the the nursing faculty uh, to visit Nepal, visit us and then uh I think there are so many things you, you can share with us uh, that we can learn from you and maybe you can learn also from us. I think I learned a lot more from you than I thought. Yeah. But uh, there are I mean 
we are also trying to improve our health situation, nursing education, and we are trying hard to come up to stand uh, as a professional. So maybe we need your help to work with us. Well, thank you so much, and uh, let's turn this off now and see how it looks.